right now. Right. I wanted to uh, focus in on the airport fire conditions, right? That's one of the largest fires that are near San Diego County. Of course, there are several and there's actually a uh, air quality alert that was issued yesterday. I'll pinpoint those details in a moment. But taking a look at the airport fire conditions and what crews are having to deal with 66 degrees right now. Humidity is high. Of course, it's a little closer to the coast, but those humidity levels are expected to drop later on today all the way through the rest of the week. Sustained winds are out of the southeast of about four miles per hour and gusts are also not bad about five to six miles per hour, which should help that firefight. But again, already close to 25,000 acres burned and 0% contained. Now we are going to have um, some smoke near the surface just kind of funnel through over the next 24 hours. Uh, it looks like it's mainly going to impact parts of the North County or the northern kind of uh, half of the county throughout the day into tomorrow morning. But again, there are several fires happening in Southern California, which is why the National Weather Service issued an air quality alert uh, for the inland and mountain communities in San Diego. Remain indoors with those windows and doors closed. I'm sure uh, by now you're already running that AC, so continue running it. If you have an air purifier, now's a good time to use it and avoid vig vigorous, uh, strenuous activities outside and avoid using uh, those whole house fans. All right, so here's what's going to save the day, this area of low pressure, uh, and it's going to be one of several that are going to pass through to our north. So we're going to have several storm systems, even potentially bringing some of our first winter storms in the Pacific Northwest, and that's going to usher in cooler air for us here in Southern California and finally give us some relief from the heat. Take a look at what's in store for the inland areas. We go from the low 80s, upper 70s. By next week, we're in the mid to low 70s by next Tuesday. Talk about a taste of fall. Temperatures are going to plummet below normal upper 70s on top for the mountain areas, and then we drop another 10 degrees on Monday and Tuesday. Desert areas, we had extreme heat yesterday. Finally, some relief there. Low hundreds, upper 90s, all the way through next Monday.